Assalamu alaikum dear students i am tahir yusuf from jak college today we are going to discuss the topic electrostatic induction of chapter 13 which is named electrostatics and this is class 10 topic so today we are going to discuss first electrostatic induction for this we have an activity in your book page number 70 an activity name is 13.3 first we discuss this activity for this activity we have a thread which is one end of this thread is connected by a spot and the other end is connected by a neutral aluminum rod you know neutral means this rod have positive and negative charges in equal amount it's mean the number of positive and negative charges are equal that's mean this is a neutral and when we place a charged plastic rod which is negatively charged we place near to this suspended aluminum rod and you know the positive or you know that uh, these two charges start attraction mean this force is attractive force between these plastic rod and aluminum rod so how these two rods attract each other in previous topic uh, we uh, say that in properties of a charge material the shortest for charged body is a repulsion so we discussed this in earlier activity first of all this neutral and this charged plastic rod attract each other how this is possible let consider the positive charge or neutral aluminum rod which have positive and negative and when we place a charged plastic rod near to this suspended rod the negatively charged attracts only positive charges at end a and repel negative charges at end b and the near end of this charged plastic rod is positively charged so these these two rods attracts each other it's mean this is not the shortest we can say that neutral uh, body has no charge but in a real case they have the same number of positive and negative charges so how they attract each other let's say uh, we can say that this phenomena is called this attraction is called electrostatic induction this phenomena is called how they attract each other they attract by the phenomena electrostatic induction now we consider another activity and the electrostatic induction is more uh, explained in this activity let's suppose we have two spheres this is sphere a with insulated stand and other sphere this is sphere b this also on insulator it's mean these are sphere and these stands are insulators these two stands are insulator initially sphere a and b both are neutral let this is diagram or figure 1 let in second diagram this is sphere a and this is sphere b they are attached and they have they are on insulator stand but in this diagram we place a charged negatively charged rod near to the sphere a so by electrostatic induction 
this this plastic rod repel the negative charges to sphere b it's mean the same charges repel each other so the negative charge are on b and the like charges are at the surface on sphere a it means sphere a and b both are neutral so all the positive charge on a and b both are at on a and the all negative charges are repelled by this plastic rod and placed on b so this is the second case in first diagram both spheres are neutral and in second diagram both spheres are one sphere is positively charged and other sphere is negatively charged it means this is at the presence of electric charged body let consider third diagram in third diagram we displace these charged body in the presence of a charge rod it means this is a negative charged body and we separate these spheres a and b let's make some distance this is third diagram it's mean we separate in the presence of a charged body we separate sphere a and sphere b it's mean sphere a is hold a charged body and sphere b is hold a negative charged body so consider the last diagram in this diagram this diagram sphere b a is completely a positive charged body and sphere b is negatively complete negative charged body this is diagram 4 but one thing may notice that there is no charged body it mean in the absence of a charged body two spheres are unlike charged this activity shows that in this process in this process an equal and opposite charges appear on each metal sphere this is called this process is called charging by induction this is called this whole process is called charging by induction let me explain what is meant by induction whenever the definition of induction is when whenever a charged body this is a charged body this rod is a let's say we can see this charged body is brought close to an insulator conductor it means this is insulator and this is conductor the near end of the conductor develops an unlike charge and the far end the far end of the conductor develops a like charges this separation of charges it means this separation of charges is called electrostatic induction it means in the presence in the presence of a charged body the near end of a conductor develops an unlike charge it means these these two are unlike charges and the far end create develops a like charges it means this separation after sub when we uh, remove the charged body these two metals are completely charged so this separation of charges is called electrostatic induction so in this topic we discussed how we create a charge on a neutral body neutral means they have equal amount of positive and negative charges that's why we say that this is a neutral so in the presence of a charged body when we create charges on uh, the surface this is called the charging by induction so look now i am proceeding to our next topic which is electroscope 
this is related to the electrostatic induction so we have an electroscope this is a simple instrument this electroscope is called gold leaf electroscope this is a sensitive instrument for detecting charges it consists of brass rod with a brass disc this brass rod is connected with brass disc and the brass rod is placed between an insulator it's mean no charges moving flowing moving outside this jar this is a brass rod this rod is connected with brass disc and the, at the top of this jar we place an insulator these two are gold leaves it's mean this is a gold leaf electroscope which is used for detecting charges and this is aluminium foil which is used for uh, they uh, which is used for these two leaves which are not disturbed by charges and this leaf is connected by uh, a copper wire which is ground which we can say this symbol is a ground symbol so the whole assembly this whole assembly is fitted in a glass jar this lower portion we place an aluminium foil inside the jar the aluminium aluminium foil is grounded grounded by connecting a copper wire this protects this leaf uh, this aluminium foil protects these leaf from the external electrical disturbance so this whole is a electroscope which is used for detecting charge so our first topic in this electroscope is how we detect the presence of charges it's mean detecting the presence of charge in order in order to detect the presence of a charge on a body we bring body near to the brass disc this is the body in which we detect the charge if this body is neutral it means they have no charge mean no this is no positive charge body or no Uh, negative charge body this is a neutral body so there will be no deflection between these leaves but if the body is positively or negatively charged it means we can uh, place a charge body near the brass disc so the divergence divergence occurs between these two leaves so how is it possible the divergence between these two leaves if we place a charged body like i am placing positive charged body near to the brass disc so by electrostatic induction we can say that the unlike charges are placed at brass disc and the same charges it means these are the positive charges so these positive charges are placed at the gold leaf so th these both leaves are starting repulsion so due to the repulsion repulsion the divergence occurs this divergence depends on the amount of this charged body if the uh, charged body is not so heavily charged so the leaves diverge more uh, 
closely or more small but if the charge body is uh, heavy so that divergence will be so more more divergence will be occur so uh, these divergence depends on the nature or the amount of the charge on a body so in this process uh, i repeat this process how we detect the charge body uh, the presence of a charge on a body if we place a neutral body near to the brass no divergence occurs and if we place positively or negatively charged uh, uh, body near to the brass this the divergence will be occurs and this divergence depends on the nature or the amount of the charge on a body so the next topic uh, next point is how we charge the electroscope by electrostatic induction how this electroscope will be charged by electrostatic uh, induction it means charging electroscope by electrostatic induction so this is our next topic which is related to the electroscope so electroscope can be charged by the process of electrostatic induction for this we produce positive charge on the electroscope positive charge means we want positive charge on the brass disc this mean a negative charge will be produced at the leaf so for this purpose by electrostatic induction we want a negative charge body which we come close to the brass end if we bring a negative charge body to electroscope so by electrostatic induction like unlike charges will produce near end the yeah, near end will be produce uh, unlike charges and the far end produce the like charges so on leaves the like charges produce and on brass disc and unlike charges will be produced so for this positive charge will appear on the disc of the electroscope while negative charge will shift to the leaf so now connect the disc of electroscope to the earthed aluminum foil charge of the leaves will flow to the earth through the wire now if we first break the earth connect connection and then remove the rod the electroscope will be left with positive charges similarly electroscope can be charged negatively with the help of positive charge rod it's mean if this aluminum foil is connected with these leaves the negative charges will flow with the help of carbon uh, copper wire and uh, these leaves are grounded means no charge will uh, left with there and only positive charge are at the brass disc and if we want the negatively charged so we bring a positive rod near to the brass disc Okay. Now we are proceeding to our third point. How we detect or how electroscope detecting the type of a charge. Detecting the type of charge. So for the detection of type of charge on a body first electroscope will be charged by charging electroscope by induction through induction let we consider electroscope is positively or negatively charged so this is a positive charge now in order to detect the type of the charge on a body bring the charged body this let's suppose this is a charged body and if we uh, detect the type this is a positively or negatively charged body 
and the electroscope is positively charged so the bring charge body near the disc of the positively charged electroscope if the divergence between these two leaves if the divergence of these gold leaves if the divergence of the leaves increase the body carries positive charge and on the other hand if the divergence decrease the body has negative charge it means the divergence increase for increasing the body has positive charge and if the divergence decreasing the body has negative charge so uh, this uh, by this process we detect the type of the charge this electroscope is also uh, used for identify how the body is conductor or insulator it means identifying the body identifying the conductor conductor or insulator it's been electroscope can also used to distinguish uh, between a conductor and insulator so for this uh, the disc may touch by the material who uh, will be under test if the leaves collapse from their diverged position it's mean if we touch the charged body a material which is under test touch to the brass or electroscope the position of the leaves collapse from their diverged position it means the body is a good conductor and if we uh, the the divergence of the leaves or the position of the leaves will no change it means the body which is under test will be insulated it means uh, if in the position if the leaves uh, position will be changed so for changing the position the body is conductor and for no change in position of the leaves the body will be insulated if the electroscope uh, the leaves of the electroscope diverge or the change its uh, leaves position the material which is under test will be a good conductor and if there will be no change or no uh, change in the position of the leaves the material will be insulator for insulator we use uh, the no deflection or no position change of the leaves and for conductor the leaves change their position so this topic uh, is electroscope today we discuss about electroscope electroscope is used to detect the presence of a charge is also used for charging electroscope by induction and also we uh, discuss how we detect the type of a charge and the last topic we discuss is identify how electroscope is identify the material is a conductor or insulator thank you sir